Hello everyone, this is Dragothian. Welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 skill damage commanders in the game. What I've done is I've put together the, this list of commanders that are self-sustained beasts when it comes to causing skill damage in Rise of Kingdoms. But I wanted to put this information out first again because I wanted you to have the info that I'm using to put these videos together for you so that you can use the data that I've got, the stuff that I'm coming out with is top tier season of conquest huge commanders right not everybody has all those uh commanders so i wanted you to have the information so that you can go ahead and customize it and put it together for yourself this list is a little shocking i'm not gonna lie and let me tell you the criteria that i use first off it's a self-contained commander damage meaning this commander does this amount of damage by only using their own skills. It's not utilizing a pairing. It's not utilizing a debuff from another commander. This is only using the commander's skills themselves. We're not using talents. I wanted to give you the baseline of what damage these commanders do. This is best possible damage. This is not ideal damage. This is not gonna be the damage all the time, but it is best possible damage output overall for skill damage okay so let's go ahead and jump in and let's start ranking off this list i'm going to break down what contributed towards these numbers and again we're going to talk about which ones landed in the top 10. all right so really what we're talking about here is maximum possible damage per skill cycle using one particular commander now you can use these numbers to go ahead and create your own pairings on what you want to have per March as we're setting up our AOE focused uh, six March team. Or again, if you want to kind of hybridize a lot of the stuff that I've been putting out the last few days, you can use this data to go ahead and do that and pump out the maximum amount of damage that you possibly can. So first off, we're gonna go with number one, and this is actually the most non-surprising commander that we've got on the list, and that is YSG. Now the maximum amount per skill cycle that YSG pumps out is 6375 damage factor now how did we get there okay first off we have a 50 percent skill damage bonus on his fourth skill we also have again when he is expertise 1700 damage factor times five now each commander or each target that gets hit has a 15 percent reduction but again we've figured out that the maximum reduction of damage from aoe that you can give to a commander is 50 percent so basically the fourth skill of ysg nullifies all the de debuffs that you give to your aoe when they're hitting targets so ultimately this is literally a uh 1700 damage times five which again equals out to 6375 damage now of course with all of these commanders, there are additional bonuses that they have that you really can't calculate into the skill damage factor itself. Like for instance, YSG second skill has 100% possible attack bonus for a few seconds whenever it triggers. You've got rage bonuses that will technically increase the DPS of these targets, so something to think about. But really when it comes down to it, we're talking about the base damage factors of these skills and YSG is number one with 6300 and 75 damage factor per skill cycle. That's pretty crazy, pretty crazy. That's the highest. Now the second highest, and this is where it starts to get a little interesting because I wouldn't have thought this. Number two is Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu is the number two most potential damage factor output per skill cycle in the game. Now we all know, and including on this channel, we've always shouted out Sun Tzu's praises He's been a, a, a staple in pretty much everything that we've done in the game until you really start to get completely flooded out with commanders that are legendary. But Sun Tzu can also do the same thing. 6,000 damage factor for Sun Tzu. Reason being, again, fourth skill has a 20% increase to skill damage, and Sun Tzu has a fan-shaped 1,000 damage factor. It's 800, and then the sec uh, second tick that gives 200 equaling a thousand times fives. That's 5,000 from the actual skill itself, plus the 20% that gives you a bonus of another thousand, which gives you a total of 6,000 damage factor. Now, why is it so high? Well, Sun Tzu doesn't have the 15% damage reduction whenever he hits multiple 
uh, targets with his AoE because he is epic. So because of that, he is going to gain all the benefits of having a nice AoE without any of the downside. And again, he has the 20% skill damage bonus on the fourth skill to boot. Number three, we're going to go with, and we're not going to go with, this is the numbers, Artemisia. Artemisia is the number three commander for this list. And the reason being, we've got 5,600 and 70 damage coming out from her per skill cycle. And the reason for that working out is the fact that she not only has an 1800 damage factor nuke at the beginning that hits three targets, the, the lowest possibility that it can be uh, reduced because it's only a three target nuke is 30%. So we took that 1800, we multiplied it by three, and then we dropped it by 30%. But the cool thing is her fourth skill, whenever it procs, and again, this is why I said highest potential, is that it will give you another 50% damage increase. So again, how cool is that? You basically have a YSD4 skill possibly procking off with one of the highest damage AoE commanders in the game. And not having a, a five target being able to be hit really helps Artemisia because again, it's not a 50% reduction for having five targets be hit. It's only a 30% reduction for three targets being hit. So very, very nice there, giving you that 50% bonus on top of the actual AoE damage that she provides herself. Plus, again, on her expertise, 10% chance to deal additional damage per second, 400, and cause the target to deal an extra 15% skill damage for three seconds. That's another 1,200 damage factor. So the combination of the AoE, the 50% skill damage bonus, and her expertise pumping out an additional 1,200 damage to the target itself brings her in at number three, 5,670 damage factor. Number four. Number four. We're going to go and take a visit to Guan. Guan Yu is number four, coming in at 5,600 even damage factor per skill cycle. Let's break down why that works out. So first off, he has a three target 2,000 damage factor AOE, which again gets dropped down to 1,400 by hitting three targets. Times that by three, you get the 4,200 number. Fourth skill here, which gives 1,400 damage factor to the target 50 percent chance to deal an additional 1400 to the enemy that's a flat 1400 that is it so you're talking about just getting a 1400 damage factor plus the three targets getting hit by his primary aoe as well now we also do have the guan yu shield it also increases his skill damage by 15 percent but again he doesn't have a way to offer that shield so to me i didn't add that in because again we're doing self-contained stuff so with that being said, we went ahead and dropped the 15% from the expertise. So this could potentially be a little bit higher if you paired him up with a coin and or a Leonidas and have less than 50% troops, which again is never ideal, but that's just the only way that Leonidas pops his uh, shield is 50% less troops. So uh, Guan Yu is number four with 5,600 damage factor per skill cycle. Number five is a bit of a shocker, people. Let's go take a look at number five. Number five is Baybars. Baybars has a flat 1,000 damage AoE, up to five targets, no reduced damage. That makes it a 5,000 possible damage factor being pumped out per skill cycle whenever Baybars casts his primary skill. There are no additional um, bonus damages or augmentations on his skill bar. Uh, to get to the 1,000 per hit, it needs to be expertise. So Baybar should be expertise to get that number. But 5,000 damage factor per skill cycle from an epic commander that's speedy being cavalry is not a bad idea. And again, this is why, again, early game, people were using Baybars with Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu with Baybars as kind of a shotgun march because you can see the damage stacking up very quickly. Sun Tzu having that 6,000 damage factor per skill cycle. Baybars having 5,000 of his own. If you can keep it away from getting swarmed, you can pump out some serious damage with that March setup and looking pretty solid. But five is Baybars with 5,000 damage factor. Number six, starting to get into people that we actually expected to be really, really high on this list. And that would be Nebuchadnezzar. So Nebu is number six. He has kind of an odd damage factor and I'll explain why. 4,888 damage factor. Um, on his per skill cycle damage factor output. He has a five target AOE that hits for up to 1500 damage uh, 
per target. Now, as the targets hit, again, he can have a maximum of 50% debuffed from those targets because of how many targets are getting hit and the 15% each additional target uh, reduction. So you're looking at 750 per damage, uh, damage per target on that particular scenario. Now, you also have his fourth skill giving a damage bonus of 15%. That 15% of the 750 times five is what gave me the, it was actually 4,887.5. I went ahead and rounded it up. It actually probably rounds down if I'm thinking about it. So 48,000 or 4,887 is probably the accurate number, but it just looked nice with three eight. So I did 4,888 is the damage factor per skill cycle for Nebu coming in at number six. Number seven, we have got William. William the first is number seven, coming in at a whopping 4,650 damage factor per skill cycle. This is a combination of his AoE and his fourth skill, I'm sorry, third skill, uh, Norman Conquest. So again, as you're swarming down targets with William, he does a nice little AoE, 1,500 damage factor, can hit three targets. There's a 30% reduction if you hit all three targets, which is again what we're doing in this particular video, being a maximum possible damage output for William. Uh, you target, you do that in combination with the fact that his third skill do, does an additional 1500 single target damage factor, pumping out 1500 damage on top of what we're already getting for the AOE itself. Really, really strong there. Um, and it's going to go ahead and give William a 46 50 damage factor per skill cycle. William, number seven. Number eight. Number eight. Now, this one was a little tricky because it's really contingent upon some things, but because he has this as part of his skills, I had to include it. Number eight is Harold. Now, Harold by himself, without getting swarmed, is actually nowhere near the top of the uh, the top 10 of the uh, of the list here. But when he is swarmed, he actually ends up pumping out 4,590 skill damage per cycle. And this is assuming at least one proc on his uh, Stamford Bridge proc. Now, again, it's a 20% chance, which usually this is a once or twice type of skill to fire off, which basically gives him another direct damage factor going out. Again, we're assuming an AOE situation, so it's a 1500 damage factor for three targets. 15% reduction times two would give you 30% less damage on the primary. But when you're doing that in combination with assuming one fi firing proc of Stamford Bridge is fourth skill, this gives you the 40... 590 number per skill cycle now if it fires off twice this would actually bump william higher or bump harold higher than william i should say and this will give harold a little bit more damage but again that's not something that can be relied upon you can at least rely on the the stanford bridge skill proccing once every skill cycle but really twice it's it's kind of rng there so i didn't want to factor that in but that's where you're getting the damage numbers there um, in addition to just, again, the skill damage itself, the skill damage number right there is giving you everything you need to have to get that number. So Harold, number eight. Number nine. And keep in mind, guys, we're missing commanders, like top tier commanders, like Gilgamesh, and Chandra Gupta, and XY is not on this list yet. I mean, my goodness. Keep in mind what we're, we're missing here and who I'm about to say. <laughs> So the next one, number nine, is going to be Mehmed. Oh my. Mehmed the second is going to be our number nine commander coming in with a whopping 4,050 skill damage per skill cycle. And again, this is open field only. This is not including for rallies, especially for Mehmed being rallies on cities. This is strictly open field damage. That's it. Mehmed has a five target, 1,350 damage factor, AOE primary skill. Damage is definitely reduced by half because it's got a five enemy uh, threshold and it's got the 15% damage reduction per target. So that drops down significantly, right? We're talking 675 per target at that point um, if he's hitting all of them together. Now, again, all the other skill damage bonuses inside of 
what's going on here has to do with hitting cities. So on his primary skill, this skill deals additional damage to city garrisons and watchtowers, 800, and has another 50% chance to deal a second burst of additional damage for garrisons and watchtowers, 500. So that does not apply in this calculation at all, but what does apply is his second skill, which is a skill damage bonus of 20%. So we're nullifying 20% of that 50% 50, 50 reduction on his primary skill. So now we're at 1350 per target, but only 30% less instead of the 50% less from before. So now we're talking some serious damage and that equates out to, again, 4,050 damage per skill cycle. So not bad for a gold key commander that most people should have at least the primary skill and secondary skill maxed out. That will get you that number. So 5511 on Mechmed would get you that number that you're looking for. Now, obviously, real-world damage, you want to have as many troops as possible, which is where his fourth skill comes in. Um, and again, if you're talking about early-game rallies, Mechmed with YSG is a solid city uh, rally before Attila Takeda comes out doing, doing some serious damage. So something to think about. Number nine, Mechmed, not the worst commander in the world for open field. All All-encompassing skill damage. Something to kind of consider there. Number 10. I didn't think we could possibly com complete the list without this commander, but it actually shoved one of the commanders that I thought for sure would be on this list. Number 10 is Cyrus. Number 10 is Cyrus. Cyrus has a damage factor per skill cycle of 3,950 skill damage per skill cycle. This is co uh, calculated by a few things. First off, you have 1,400 skill damage for, to a dedicated target. That's 1,400 right there. Then you also have on a third skill, you have additional damage factor of 250 over three seconds. That's 750 more, which we added to the 1,400. And then on top of all that, you have the fourth skill here, which gives an AOE damage over time skill damage of 300 per second for two seconds. And then it can hit three targets. So you have 300 for two seconds, that's 600, and then three targets, that's 1,800 damage factor going out, plus the 1,400, plus the 750, and that's where we get the 3,950 number for Cyrus coming out and beating out XY <laughs> was the obvious one for me that I was thinking of, but any of the later game commanders, Cyrus just beat out. In fact, other commanders that I have done the calculations for that beat out XY, you're gonna be shocked. Uh, some honorable mentions. We'll do some honorable mentions. Uh, Leonidas. <laughs> Leonidas came in with a whopping 3,780 damage factor. So Mina. Minamoto, by the way. Um, number 12, technically, at 3,380 damage factor. Incredible. He's a early game VIP commander that most people have access to from the get-go, assuming they want to put a little money into the game. Um, 3,380 for Minamoto. And then Edward beating out XY as well, 3125 per skill cycle. Finally, you get to the XY, which uh, is at 3060. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So again, to recap, we have YSG, number one, Sun Tzu, the purple legendary commander we all know and love at number two. Number three, we have Artemisia. Number four, we have Guan. Number five, we have Baybars, another epic commander in the top 10 crazy number six we have nebu number seven we have william number eight we have harold number nine we have mehmed and number 10 rounding it out is cyrus that's the top 10 for most skill damage output per skill cycle self-contained not getting buffed from anybody else not taking into account any debuffs on the target itself this is just this commander provides this much damage by themselves pretty sweet i thought you guys might want to know that i did the math for you there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. And take care.